So far, you've only downloaded data in a text file from the server. That is data.txt. And as you saw, that works fine. Using Ajax techniques, you can fetch the contents of text files and, as we're going to see, XML files as well with no problem. However, it's very common to use server-side scripting with Ajax so that you can actually accomplish something on the server rather than just downloading a static text file. Static text files work fine for examples, but you often want to interact with the server in some way, perhaps interact with a database on the server, or work with a logbook on the server, and so forth. And one way of doing that is to use server-side scripting, where you actually execute code on the server, and that code sends back data that you can read using Ajax techniques and display. Until now, you used a data.txt file. However, you might change that to a server scripting file using, for example, the most common scripting language out there for use with Ajax, which is PHP. That you might change that from data.txt to data.php. So now you're going to be interacting with a program called data.php on the server. And this allows you the possibility of instituting server-side scripting. You can send data to your server, to your program on the server. The server interprets that data you've sent and perhaps works with a database and sends you back data based on the current state of the database. So in this case, data.php is going to be a very simple PHP file, and although we're going to use some PHP in this course, you won't have to know PHP, and all the PHP that we're going to see is going to be fairly evident on what it does, and here's an example. This PHP file starts with a markup angle bracket question mark PHP, that's the way you begin a PHP file on a PHP enabled server, and then the echo statement simply sends back the text you pass to the echo statement back to the browser. So in this case, we're just going to echo this text was fetched using Ajax. And you close the PHP file with question mark angle bracket. So you're not going to need to know how to use PHP to use this course profitably. However, we will do a little bit of, of server-side scripting, and it's going to be fairly evident how things work. In this case, you're just using the echo statement to send back this text back to the browser when it, when it asks for it. So all we've done now is we've replaced data.txt with data.php as the URL to fetch. This is passed to the data.php. Name is passed to the get data JavaScript function you've already written as the data source. And when you open, you configure the XML HTTP request object by using its open method, passing it the HTTP get method to indicate you want to use the get method to download data and the data source, which is now going to be data.php instead of data.txt, then what will happen is the data.php scripting side, server-side script will be executed and the text that it passes back to the browser will be read by using the response text property of the XML HTTP request object. And if all goes well, that will be displayed in the target divs HTML. So hopefully when the user clicks the button then you're going to be able to read data.php if you're working with a PHP enabled server. You will need a PHP enabled server in order to work with this example. And if that works, if all goes well, then the fetch data will replace this text. The fetch data will go here, will be replaced by the text sent back from data.php which is this text was fetched using Ajax. So as you see, it's it's easy enough to replace the name of a text file at a particular URL with a server-side script. And of course, it's much more powerful to do so because rather than just sending back static text, you're sending back the results of executing code on the server, which may include working with a database, for example. So let's take a look at this. This is index3.html. If all goes well, when I click this display message button, you should see this text was fetched using Ajax, replacing this text here, because and this time we're instead of using a text, a simple text message, simple text file, we are using a PHP file on a PHP enabled server. 
well, let's see if it works yes it does work this text was fetched using Ajax so that's an example of a very simple example of working with a server-side script as opposed to working with a simple text file